Hello, my name is Dalton West, and I'm a master's student here at the University of Georgia, working in the Cotton Molecular Breeding Lab located in Tifton, Georgia. And today I'm going to show you how to perform a cross between cotton plants. Our purpose for making these crosses is to intentionally manipulate the selected cotton plants to produce offspring that have the desirable traits that we are searching for, such as improved yield, enhanced fiber quality traits, including length, strength, and micronaire, along with disease resistance. For the crossing process, there are a few materials that are required. These items include bright colored ribbon, paper straws, paper bags, tags, and an apron for carrying these supplies. Skip rows, which can be seen here, are commonly used in our breeding program's crossing block to help separate the mothers from the fathers and to help reduce any unwanted cross pollinations. When crossing cotton plants, a total of two days are required. The first step when making crosses is to find what is called a candle, which is a mature flower that has yet to open on the mother plant in the afternoon of the first day. Once found, the candle needs to be gently emasculated. This process can be performed by carefully using your fingers to tear off the unopened petals and removing the pollen sacs from the flower. It is very important to remove all male reproductive organs so to prevent any accidental selfing. Next, the stigma and style need to be covered using an appropriate size paper straw. The straw should be a little longer than the stigma and style and can be carefully placed over the female organs and the tip should then be crimped. This will prevent any unwanted pollen from fertilizing the flower. The last step for the first day is to wrap some bright colored ribbon around the stem of the emasculated flower so to easily find it the following morning. The following morning around 7 a.m. we will gather flowers from the male parents and place them in our paper bags and separate them based on genotype. These flowers should be mature and close to opening yet still closed so to ensure that the pollen used is pure. These flowers will remain in the bags for some time until the anthers dehiss, which can be sped up by placing them in direct sunlight. It is best to pollinate female flowers between 8 and 11 a.m. Male flowers can be tested for readiness by visually seeing pollen grains shedding from the anthers, as you can see here. Once the anthers begin to shed pollen, the paper straw can be removed and the stigma can be dusted with pollen from the male flower. Once dusted, we will cover the stigma style with the paper straw again, so to prevent any foreign pollen from reaching the stigma. This will ensure that the pedigree of our newly formed cross is accurate. Next, we can remove the bright colored ribbon and place a tag on the female flower. This tag should have the pedigree of the cross, along with the date that the cross was made. Once fertilized, it will take an estimated 50 days for a bowl to fully develop and open, providing us with F1 seed. Thanks for watching my video on crossing cotton plants.